Your mom tells you to stop studying in bed. Your favorite teacher says handwritten notes are better than typing when it comes to retention. Your best friend swears by the Pomodoro technique, but your boyfriend thinks it just doesn't work. I get it. Everyone has study tips they swear by and love to share. But what does science have to say about all of this? Hi everyone, my name is Anna Mascara and I help students and young professionals like yourself achieve their academic and career goals without sacrificing their mental health. Today's video is a list of the top study tips actually backed up by science. Starting with keep your study session short and sweet. Research shows that the most effective study sessions are divided into bite-sized chunks and not 10-hour binges. This is due to the fact that your brain is much better at encoding info into the synapse in shorter, repeated sessions. Gradually building your skills over time makes it easier to master a subject. In other words, try studying for 20 minutes a day over a period of two weeks instead of dedicating two full days to retaining everything and anything in sight. Tap into your brain's expectations. Pop-up study sessions here and there might be perceived as a good way of maximizing your free time to put in some work whenever and wherever an opportunity presents itself. In reality though, random study sessions aren't the best way to learn because the first portion of your time will be spent by your mind trying to figure out what's happening. That's why routines and study cues or triggers are so important, because they train your brain to expect when you have to study. To put it lightly, you need to kind of set the mood, okay? Buy your brain some flowers and a box of chocolates, or in this case, implement a study schedule and stick to it in order to maximize your productivity. Repeated testing beats repeated studying. As if I haven't been trying to drill this into your skull from the very start of my YouTube channel. Practice tests are life. I mean, there are entire scientific articles and research just like this one backing up the value of repeated testing. Repeatedly quizzing yourself throughout your studying journey positively affects knowledge retention and the transfer of information, so don't overlook that. Brain Power Boost Workout If you've been feeling very much like a potato recently, I fall into this category as well, then you might not want to hear this, but it needs to be said. Countless studies have shown the benefits that exercise has on the brain. It's literally no mystery at this point, guys. You know that you know this. Even a short 15-minute workout before starting your study session can help increase alertness, improve memory, and your thinking skills because the body has just recently been pumping nutrients and oxygen to the brain. It's well fed and ready to go. Emotionally enhanced memory functions. Now, I really saved the best for last. I know very few students or even like educational YouTubers take on the topic of how emotions impact our learning potential. Certain emotions can impair learning and long-term memory while others enhance them. For example, some studies report that positive emotions facilitate learning and even contribute to academic achievement. Although this is probably the most complex topic out of the five points mentioned in the video, but I would encourage you to take an hour or two of your day to look into it. I personally find stuff like this very interesting and I'm considering dedicated an entire video on this topic. So. If you'd like to see that, give this video a thumbs up uh, to let me know and I will have that ready for you ASAP. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to me if you like what you see because I post school videos twice a week. And small reminder, don't forget to check out my new website, animascara.com for the ultimate student survival kit. Thank you for all your support. I promise I will keep the goodies coming. Bye guys.